We're okay. Everything's all right. You all right, Gary? You're good. Okay, you're not okay. All right. Well, single We're live, parents, Gary. Yeah, just so you know. Uh, single parents, you're probably pretty good at planning those play dates for your kids, but what about dates for yourself? Yeah, local matchmaker Julie Ammon joins us now to talk about that. And I guess we're looking at this question, how does somebody who's either recently or not so recently single get back into the dating game, especially mm -hmm. when there are kids involved? Mm -hmm. Anyone re-entering the dating world, Ted, most definitely those singles with children, really need to take a step back and determine what they're looking for in both a relationship as well as in a partner. So that self-reflection is really important. It's important to be able to leave that past, maybe some of that pain behind you, and embrace right. something new as your best self. Also, very important to talk to your kids about dating even before dating. So what if mom were to go out on a date? What if dad were to meet someone at the gym? That's really important. It's gonna give you that gauge as to where your kids are at mentally and prepare them for what's to come. Okay, so you're saying be self-aware, take your own temperature and take your kids' temperature Absolutely. too. Absolutely, yes. But you gotta be like in a quiet space to really write down what are your goals? Why are you even doing so this? So true, yes. So how do you do that? Yeah. What goals should you be looking at? What goals? Well, whatever is important to you. I mean, it's, it's really important that self-reflection, again, to determine what is going to work in your life. I recently spoke with a client of mine and she said, you know, Julie, I'm open to dating someone with children but I am not, I don't see myself at soccer games every weekend. And she said, does that make me a horrible person? It really doesn't. It makes you an open, honest communicator and it's going to help in that relationship. So at It's Just Lunch, we take care of that for you. We make sure you're on that same page prior to even meeting. But if you're not working with a matchmaker, it's important to not skip that step yourself. I know parents who don't want to go to their kids' soccer game. <laughs> I was just going to say that. Let, let alone your, your partners. Like that. You take talk about looking at what you want, mm -hmm. and by that, I, and, and just to back, piggyback on her question, do I want somebody that I can have adult conversations and adult time mm -hmm. with, or do I want a parent figure, a mother or father figure for my kids? Right. These so are two true. different things all together, and you have to be honest with yourself and the kids. Yes, it's so important to do so, and so really to, you know, like I said, you don't want to let your kids' emotions dictate your dating future. You want to certainly be aware and not negate their feelings, mm -hmm. but smart single parents really um, don't let their kids' emotions dictate where they're going in the future. And so be aware, know if there, if there are any stumbling blocks because it's up to the two of you whether or not you're going to become a couple. It's up to the kids if you're going to become a family. Right, mm -hmm. and then you gotta ask yourself too, not just their emotions, but yes. also, okay, my kids are a priority. Can I find the time to date? Right, so true. that takes a lot of time. And it's something that I hear so often, and the simple question, answer, I should say, is you have to make time for things that are important to you. And so whether it's the gym, or whether it's finding someone special to spend the rest of your life with, you need to make the time for dating. And so remember your kids want you to be happy. And so if you are in a relationship that provides that you know, companionship and encouragement, it's going to make you a better parent. Let's look at the other side of the coin, the single man or the single woman, and like your client you just referenced, yes. who might enter into a relationship mm -hmm. with a man or a woman with kids. What's your advice for mm. them? Be genuine. Kids can spot a phony or a fake so from a true. mile away. And so you don't want to push things too hard. Let things kind of unravel naturally. Also, I'm telling my clients all the time, take a look at your current lifestyle. Are you ready to embrace the effort and compassion again? That, and not to mention flexibility, right? That it's going to take to date someone with children. And lastly, if you find yourself in that situation, enjoy it. I mean, kids can add a layer to a relationship Absolutely. Absolutely. of humor and fulfillment. And so it's funny, but you may not only end up falling in love with your partner, but you may end up falling in love with those kids as well. Which can be hard too, if it doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. So the other question is, mm -hmm. when do you actually introduce them? Because mm. I think that would be one of the key questions for me. And there's no definitive answer here, Katrina, obviously, but you want, you don't tell your kids everything as it is right now. Don't start with your dating life. Um, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Make sure you're serious about the relationship. Make sure your partner is serious about the relationship too, because especially young children, 
they develop attachments so quickly. And so it's important to be fair to the kids. Make sure you see a future with this person. And you can say to your kids, hey, mom or dad, I, I really like this person, kids. Your mom really likes this person. Yes. Give him a chance or give her a chance. So true. Yeah. They want you to be happy. Yeah. They really do. Yeah. Julie, nice work. Thank I you. love it. Matchmaker. Good job.